Hey guys, it's your girl Pingiratina here with a new Ninja Dev Diary recap video. So last night, um, they dropped Dev Diary um 13. Um, this one talked about a lot of things that's coming in season five. If you guys didn't know, season five is just upon us. We got a couple more weeks till season five drops in Ninjala. Um, you know, about maybe two and a half, three weeks, about that much. So they gave us a decent amount of information on a lot of new things that they're implementing into the game. Um, including a new login bonus and a new featured battle and also some new things that you know that comes with season five so before we get into this video if you guys do enjoy don't forget to leave a like and comment down below what you guys think about the dev recap video was it exciting are you guys excited for anything in there um are you guys excited for season five do you like the new weapons do they look interesting to you and yeah let's get into it also don't forget to subscribe for more ninja content but Let's get into it. So I want to start off by saying season five's theme is fairy tales. So you know every season in Jala follows a theme basically, and the theme is fairy tales this season. So you know, Red Riding Hood, all those fairy tale type of stuff. Um, at the start of season five, there will be a Ninjala beginners campaign. So I guess this is mostly for people that are just starting the game. I guess that's the best thing to start. You get. A bunch of different things during this period of time at the beginning of season five um at the start of season five with the beginners campaign there will be a jala login bonus rewards so this is something i've been waiting for ninja to do for a long time to help you know with the lack of jala that there is um besides buying the battle pass that's like the only way you could legitimately get jala in this game really or if you do the story mode too i believe speaking of the story modes Story Packs Volume 1 and 2 will be on sale during the Ninja Beginners campaign for a 55% discount. So definitely if you guys are interested in getting the story the story packs and stuff like that, I haven't gotten it yet. Definitely um, look into that. <laughs> also, when completing, and there will also be some um, challenges um, while doing, well, getting the rewards for the Ninjala's Beginners campaign. Some of the rewards um, are a new version of the Neo Shinobi outfit. So you know the basic outfit you get that's usually blue, like your default ninja outfit. There's actually going to be a purple version as one of the rewards for doing or playing the Ninjala Beginners campaign. You also get some medals, some gold, bronze, and silver medals. And my favorite part, there's a new gacha coin that they're implementing in season five, which will also be one of the rewards for playing the Ninjala Beginners campaign. Now I'm really excited for that gacha coin because to do use the, the gacha coin will be used on the gumball machine. So it's pretty much a, ga a gumball gacha coin. I'm excited because using your Jala or your gold your gold medals is really like it's really scarce to come across. So to use those things to roll on the gacha machines is very stressful for a lot of people. I'm not going to lie. I really have not touched the gumball machine since season three. And the reason why is because of the fact that I need Jala, and if not Jala, I have to use my gold coins, which are pretty important currency in this game. So I'm happy that it's getting its own coin. So you could definitely roll on the Gumba more, specific the Gumba machine. Specifically for the Gumba machine is a really great idea. I really like that new implement and kudos to the devs for even doing that. In season five, there will be three new weapons based on existing weapons so you're going to pick this fan weapon I'm not, I'm not going to say the names it should be on the screen um but there's going to be this fan weapon that i'm going to assume is going to be in the katana class there's going to be a it is called great gear it's pretty much like this gear hammer it's definitely a hammer you could see it's a hammer and then the final one is a cookie looking thing um, it's definitely going, it definitely puts me in mind of the, you know, Shinobi spinner in the cookie elf, the cookie, um, skin, but that's pretty much the three new weapons. That's definitely a yo-yo weapon. So no new kind of thing, like how we had surfboards and skateboards and, uh, the stop signs in season four were definitely, um, katanas, but they moved pretty different than a normal katana. But I think most of these weapons will move like your normal counterparts in the weapon class that they're in. There will also be a new Shinobi card that's going to be coming out with Season 5. And that card will actually make your weapon big automatically at the start of the match. Which is really cool to get some, you know, e pawns and stuff like that. Because if you guys didn't know, if you guys uh, both choose up in, an, in, a, in, a, in a clash, the bigger weapon usually wins. If you guys didn't know, it's on the tip screen, on the one of the loading screens in Ninjala. So that would be good for little situations like that, and also to complete challenges where you have to, you know, knock somebody out with a big, a big weapon. Next, there's a new online tournament called the Nessun UFO Yakasoba 
cup it's only gonna be for like about a day like a 24-hour online tournament and they encourage all players of all skills to join in so that's something new i'm looking forward to seeing how that goes and how many people you know participate and all of those things i know here's one of the big kickers literally pun intended ninjala strikers is a new featured battle that's coming to season five it will be live at the start of season five like the next day after season five goes live it will the feature battle will be live so pretty much this feature battle is like soccer but in a big 4v4 scale. If you guys remember that one Fall Guys mini game, it's something like that. We have to knock the ball into the goal. This is one of the most hyped things I think so far announced in this dev diary. A lot of people are excited for the Ninjala Strikers and I am too. A lot of people already wanted to be a part of the game mode even though we've never even played it. And I could see why because it's a really, it looks really fun. It looks like a good time and something completely different from all the other feature battle because we only had beast attack and s blast and this one's something actual complete different like thing it's actually like a mini game which i'm really really excited to try out and i can't wait to show to you guys and the final thing that they talked about in this dev diary was there's a new ninja card collection coming out in late march so if you guys did get the first um pack the first volume or pack um there's another one coming out late march hopefully i can get my hands on this one and make some content for you guys but that's it for this Ninjala Dev Diary re recap video. I hope you guys enjoy and you guys be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you guys, you guys are excited for the new feature battle with new card collection season 5 as a whole and everything as a whole and you have a you guys have a good one. See you in the next one. Peace.